a thing turn into a thing when you go to a major event because it takes you from here up here it takes you from mentally down here to mentally up here and somebody that understands that is going to come and talk to you about the importance of driving people to a thing so that then the thing that they're in can turn into a thing <laughs> is uh, one of my favorite people. She brought me up. Now I get the opportunity of bringing her up. Help me welcome Platinum Going Diamond, Miss Bronson South. Say hello! Oh, right. Do your thing. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Yes. Has this day not been phenomenal? Yes. It has been great. We have had some awesome information. But what I'm going to bring you right now is just a quick snippet of something that we've trained on over the years. Um, I've had the awesome pleasure of working with none other than Diamond Doc Lee. And something that I've learned through him is team etiquette. How many of you know what etiquette is? How many of you have heard of Emily Post? How many of you have a mother that has taught you good manners? How to be polite? Home training. That's basically what team etiquette is. How many of you have heard the saying, together everyone achieves more? Team. Team. Well, being a team, you have to first know to act like a good team member. And a good team member is a big picture thinker. How many of you have taken notes all day? I'm going to use notes. my notes to help me not forget anything because I take notes all the time and that keeps me on track because I will ramble on and on because I love this company and I'm excited. I get a little nervous when I'm up here. You might not know, but that's just something that happens. But you have to be willing to do some things that you're not really comfortable with to get to the next level. Um, you have to be a big picture thinker, and I call being a big picture thinker, and I got that from one of my favorite authors, John Maxwell. Um, you have to act like this company is yours. How many of you would love to be an owner of Infinity Global? Did you know that you're already part owner each one of you have a part to play as a team member in Infinity Global. Say, I am a co-owner. I am a co-owner. As a co-owner, you act like you own this billion dollar company. As a co-owner. You don't have to repeat it, but I'm saying I'll tell you when to repeat it. But we are all co-owners. And with that in mind, you have to act like you own something great, and something as great as this company, um, there's something you have to do in your mind. There's something that has to go off. You have to set your mind to thinking a few key things as a team member. To be a good team player, you have to have an attitude. Not a bad attitude. Now don't come in here with an attitude and you can turn away at the door. But you have to have a responsible attitude. You are responsible for everything that goes on. You see me doing things all the time. You see a few faithful few doing everything. Well, you all have that opportunity to participate. Um, you have to have the, it, if it's to be, it's up to me attitude. You also, as a team player, to be a good team player, number two, and you want to take notes. Number one, have a responsible attitude. Number two, be a, to be a team player, you have to be respectful. Hold on. I'll call you back. I'm in a meeting. Look, I told you I had a meeting all day long. Key example. Now, in ordinary circumstances, I wouldn't do that. But how rude is being on the first row, getting a phone call with that loud ringtone, answering the phone, having a conversation, while the new person who's never been to a meeting, never been to an event, 
is trying to hear what Kevin or Jason or Doc or Lisa or Brian has to say or Jason. First key rule in team etiquette, switch your cell phone to silent <coughs> or vibrate. If it's not a life changing, I mean life or death or money. <laughs> now if it's money, you have to do what the old church mothers do. Stick your finger up and quietly walk out. Right? But if it's not life or death or money, put it on vibrate, put it on silent, turn it off, or send them a you know, discreet little text message. I'll call you back. I'm learning some life-changing information from Roger Hill about how to college never having a day job took off and took the advice of billionaire mentors and took off and never worked a job but have made millions of dollars every single year and is currently making millions. And when I found out that this is going to be the individual running this company from the VP of sales and marketing position, I knew right then I wanted to be a part of it. So when you see me stand on stage and I say give it up, for Mr. Jason Bonnier, I want you to act like you had lost your mind. I want you to go straight DMC up in here. So I'm gonna ask this question one more time, and I want you to lose your mind up in here. So can you give it up once again for Mr. Jason Bonnier? I say, you know, give it up for the president of this company. I want you to act the fool up in here. Because anytime you got a gentleman that's running this company that has over 25 plus years experience in energy, which means he know electricity, he know lights. You kind of get where I'm going? Somebody walked up to me the other day, Doves, and they said, man, can you tell me how the, how the, how the, I said, look, say that question, because I can let you know right now. You can look at me from head to toe, and you can clearly tell I'm not the guy that know how electricity works. <laughs> but isn't it good to be in business with someone that has 25 years experience on how it works? My dumb ass the other day, oh, I mean, my, my dumb behind the other day asked Kevin the other day what a grid was. Are you with me? And I said, ooh, look at that grid right there. He said, well, doc, that's not real a grid. <laughs> so it feels so good to be in business with someone, Charlie, that really know energy. So when you have someone like a Kevin West that come to the table with this type of experience, this type of energy, this type of knowledge, and Doc Lee get up here, and Doc Lee say, give it up for the president of the company, I need you to act a fool. So once again, I'm going to ask you to give it up for none other than the president of the company, Mr. Kevin West. Thank you. Thank you. what I want to do. This is what I want to do. And I don't know I'm going to do this, but I'm going to do it this time. No reason don't do it this time because sometimes you have to do what you have to do. And I don't do it all the time, but when I do do it, I do it. But I don't do it all the time. And the reason I'm going to do it this time because this is the stuff that we do. And the reason we do the stuff we do because this is the stuff that we do. Got it? So this is what I want to do. If you are excited, in this room about the Infinity Global Opportunity, I need you to make some noise. If you are excited about your future in the network marketing industry, I want you to make some noise. If you're excited just to be in a room, 
filled with individuals like a David Dove, like a David Luna, like a Brian Johnson, a Brosham Salcedo, a Jason Bonier, a Iris Lugo, a Kelvin West, a, a Jackie Acrolaro, a Jackie Acrolaro. And if you're excited about being in the room filled with leaders like Sonia Sonier, because I'm on live TV, and I really shouldn't say it because I don't like saying just anything on live TV, but most of you know me, so what the hell? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what Doc Lee is excited about. Anybody wanna know what Doc Lee is excited about? Yeah. I just think sometimes it's important if you say, well, you know what? That Doc Lee guy, I wish I was making the kind of money that Doc Lee was making. Well, at some point, you got to know what Doc Lee is thinking. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> if you ever wake up and say, man, I sure wish I could make that kind of money that Doc Lee make, but I sure like to know some of the things that Doc Lee is doing to make the kind of money that Doc Lee is making. Well, let me tell you something. If you want to know what Doc Lee is thinking, only thing you have to do is ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, you got to say it at the same time, doesn't it? What are you count? thinking? What are you nah, thinking? Nah, that's nah, nah, nah. On the count of three, y'all know I love energy. If you, if, let me tell you, the last person that came in my face, Jason, and they didn't have any energy, you want me to tell you what I did? This is what I did. I eased up to them, and I... <laughs> right down the throat of them. I caught them with elbow. You know? And I didn't, they didn't even see me coming. I eased up for them, and then I went. That's how I went up. So if you come around me, you don't have any energy, you better hold your throat. You better hold your throat. Hold your throat. So on the count of three, I'm going to ask you a question. I mean, no, you're going to ask me a question. If you want to know what I'm thinking, you got to ask me, right? Right? The good book says you have not because it's what? not. And it's just that simple, guys. So, on the count of three. One, two, three. What are you thinking about? Here's the deal, guys. What I think about every single day when I get up, I think about how bright my future is going to be. I think about every single day when I get up about how bright my future is going to be for my kids and for my family. And I want you to understand something. I have uh, twins, a boy and a girl. And as we were